Hey, hey, my good friends, how are you doing today? Happy Friday, happy weekend. I hope y'all had an amazing week and you have an even better weekend. So, welcome back to the home, another homemade recipe. You know me, simple, easy, is how I like my dinners to be. So, let's get a thumbnail and then we'll talk about what we're eating. All right, that'll do it. So today, friends, I made what is called a taco pierogi casserole. Super simple, super easy. What it means is whatever you put in your tacos, put on pierogies and that's it. Let me show you. This is the pierogies I used. Miss T's pierogies, four cheese blend. There is different types of pierogies that you can use. Doesn't have to be that kind, that's just the kind that I picked. I browned up some ground beef, taco seasoning, salt, pepper, put whatever kind of cheese you want on there, sour cream. I didn't want a whole lot, but you can put tomatoes, avocado, whatever, you know. Whatever you put in your taco, put on here. 350, put it in the oven, 25, 30 minutes, voila. You got yourself an easy dinner. Let's dig in, I never made this before. I have made pierogies before, just not taco pierogies. Hair. You guys ever had pierogies before? They're really good. Let me see if I can get you. Like insides, like potato and cheese and whatnot. Let me know how y'all are doing. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you would not mind. Join the journey. We eat all kinds of foods on this channel. All right. Today we're gonna to be doing some relationship questions. Don't laugh. I was at work and I'm like, let's just print out some questions. This is really good. I do like it. I have some taco packets as well. Okay, the first question. Where would you most like to go on vacation? Let's say out of the US, where do we wanna go? I wouldn't mind visiting like Costa Rica or somewhere kind of beachy, I guess, warm. Where do you want to go? <clears throat> Down in the Caribbean somewhere. On a cruise? No. Oh, you just want to go to the Caribbean? Just go, uh, Islands. Yeah. Like Got a little tiki. A tiki bar we can just drink. Sounds like a good vacation. My future home. <laughs> you know, I plan on becoming a bartender and listen to Jimmy Buffett at night. No. Yeah. Being a beach bum during the day. Better make some good tips. Yep. It's gonna be a beach bum. That's my dream. Sell everything. Hey, friend. You're cute. Yeah. All right. Next question is, what would you do if you won $10,000? <clears> yeah. <throat> I'd say you won a lottery or something, and it was $10,000. To buy groceries. Groceries are expensive today. Ten thousand dollars worth of groceries. You don't get far with ten thousand dollars. Oh, I'd be taking a trip somewhere. I can't remember where you I wanted to Publix go. Publix spend eighty dollars on four things. No, I can't remember. I'll probably take a trip somewhere for real if I won ten thousand dollars.
I don't even know if I would pay anything off. Drinking sweet tea today. All right, the next question is, <clears throat> I don't like a lot of these. Name three things you and your partner appear to have in common. What do we have in common? No. Oh, shut up. We ain't together just because we're together. I think what we have in common is we only like to travel, explore, and do new things and try new restaurants. We don't take no BS, we speak the truth and we're always upfront and honest with everything. I agree. And what else? We're both hot-headed. Mm -hmm. We are both hot-headed. I know, we just enjoy having fun. Yeah. Was it last week? What? The strawberry festival. Oh yeah, it was just like that. <clears throat> Drove up there and went to a car show. And yeah. Stopped, had a couple drinks. And I went to the strawberry festival. Went to a brewery. And then what? We got some salads for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> that one does pretty well sums it up. Let me see. <clears throat> I don't know. If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? That's a very deep question, especially right now. Going through my counseling sessions. They pull a lot out of you and realize a lot that you would change. I would change, I don't know if I would change my parents' divorce. My parents got divorced when I was about nine. But I would change all the BS I had to endure growing up. Like all the fighting for no reason between you know, my dad and his wife, my mom and his and her husband, putting us in the middle of crap. I, just, I went through a whole lot of crap. That's probably what I would change. I don't feel like arguing and doing all that kind of stuff in front of children is correct. I don't think pinning children against the opposite parent is a way to go. <laughs> I don't think crap talking about other parents in front of the kids to make them choose sides <coughs> is the way to go. And that's some stuff. That's a lot of stuff I had to go through. What about you? What would you change? Not much. Yeah. No. I mean, a few things, but... All in all, it made me a very humble person no. to go through the things I went through in my life. And <clears throat> Just it. not growing up with a lot? Yeah, because I'm very, uh, what's the word for it? I'm very appreciative. Like grateful? Grateful for the things I had in my life and the things I've been able to work for. And, and I did it on my own. Right. I didn't ask for no help. Even when I didn't have a dollar, I still found a way to make ends meet, make, make things work. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I look at us now. I mean, look at us. Yeah. You know what I mean, 
I listen to some people and it's like they're so far in debt. And I'm very thankful that we're not and we're yeah. able to do the things we're able to do. And I appreciate every day. Yeah, we're pretty smart when it comes to money. That's something else I like about us. Like we save. Like yeah, we have fun, but we also save. I guess I don't know, you know, too, because I didn't grow up with a whole lot. Mm -hmm. I grew up on the streets. So today, when I want to go buy something, uh, I, I either put it back or something. Yeah. Well, I guess that's my mentality. They don't, you know, even though I have the money and I have. If we don't need it, we <clears> won't buy right, it. And it's like, yeah. No, because you know, growing up, it's like I didn't have Nikes and all that crap. Yeah. I didn't either. I didn't go to Kmart. <laughs> I shopped at Payless for my shoes. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. Till I was old enough to afford and but, I was working. But I also got to do a lot of things that a lot of kids didn't do. You know, I think about those moments. I got to go camping. I got to go fishing. I got, we, got to, we went traveling all the time. Mm -hmm. And we didn't stay at hotels and something like that. But, but I we, think it's cool to camp. We had a camper. And, yeah. And I remember sitting out and had fires and weenie roses. And, I kind of wish we camped more when yeah. I was younger. Those are the memories I have. <clears throat> but yeah. I mean, it wasn't all. And my life was yeah. My life wasn't all bad, but sometimes the. Uh, bad memories stick with you longer. All right, let me see if I can find one more question. Get some more taco sauce. Let me know what y'all are doing this weekend. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. have to read them but that was a few questions do you like this yeah. yeah I'm just so weird with meat I don't know even if I cook it myself I don't eat a lot of meat but it was good I definitely think people should try it. If you like tacos and you like potatoes, because that's what the inside is, just potato. <coughs> so yeah, let me know if y'all don't, you know, you know, answer some of those questions. Let me know how your childhood was. Again, mine wasn't great, mine wasn't horrible. It was kind of like in between. You remember the good times, you remember the bad times. And, um, yeah, that's about all I have. I'm full. I'm done. I got questions. Oh, yeah. If you guys have questions, positive mm -hmm. questions, you throw them in the comments. Answer. Yeah. You already know we'll answer them. I just pull some stuff off the internet, so that's what I do. All right, y'all. I hope y'all are doing great, and we will see you in the next video.